What's up guys, Fix here. Hope you guys are having a great day today, but today guys, I personally haven't even played Black Ops 3 since the weekend, man. I mean, Friday or Saturday, it's been a it's been a while, guys. The last time I uploaded a video, that was the last time I played Black Ops 3. It's been a while. We're back on Black Ops 3. We're trying to grind out the freaking Grand Slam contract. We have 63 out of 125 wins so far. You know, I hope I get something good out of this freaking contract. I hope it's nothing stupid. I hope it's nothing bad. I hope it's nothing I'm going to regret because I swear to God, if I go through this 125 wins and I get something garbage, I think I might not even want to even play this game anymore. This game is giving me so much stress. It's not even funny. But we're at level 956. We are 44 levels away from hitting level 1,000. It'll be my first time hitting level 1,000 for you guys on video, so I cannot wait to hit level 1,000. But you know, guys, to be honest, I haven't even really had the desire to play Call of Duty in a while, I mean, I've just been focusing all my time into Destiny 2. You guys have no idea how much Destiny 2 I have been playing. Like, I played so much Destiny 2. I was finally able to get out of the light level of 265. I think right now my Titan is at like a 275 right now. So, I'm so happy I got out of 265. I played the nightfall already i'm gonna play the nightfall tomorrow because that's when the weekly reset is i can't wait to play the nightfall the nightfalls are kind of annoying in this game i'm not gonna lie to you guys they kind of get on my nerves because you they're time based you have to do it within a certain amount of time and i can't imagine trying to go for the rat king like that thing going for the rat king i think would be really hard but you know a lot of people i see a lot of people they have the rat king so i don't think it could be that hard you just have to really really rushed through the nightfall but yeah i've been you know playing destiny 2 been getting ready for the raid been gearing up for the raid i know the raid came out already and a lot of people already played it but you know it's been a week since the raid came out and i've been grinding so i can get good stuff so i can play the raid i cannot wait to actually play the raid i don't know how many people are gonna want to play the raid with me i don't know because a lot of people they don't really like playing raids with new people they don't like that and i'm fine with that usually i just look them up see how to do the raid but, you know, if you guys would like to play the raid, if this is your first time playing the raid as well, or if you guys are experienced raid players, hit your boy up. I'm down to play with whoever and whenever, because I really would love to play the raid in Destiny 2. It looks really good. I've seen the live streams of the raid, and it looks really good. But, you know, guys, COD World War 2 comes out in less than two months. I, isn't that crazy? In less than two months, the game is going to officially come out in November. Like... It just goes to show you guys, first of all, that this year has went by really fast because I'm going to be honest with you guys, this year went by stupid fast. I can't believe we're almost done with 2017. It has been absolutely crazy. I did not expect this year to go by this fast. 2017 is almost over, so 2018 will come very soon. But earlier today, guys, the COD World War II campaign trailer came out. And I was able to watch it because I saw on Twitter a lot of people liking the new Call of Duty trailer that came out, I was like, yo, a new COD World War II trailer came out? I gotta see this. I'm not trying to, like, hype it up, but how can you not be hyped up after that trailer? I saw that trailer. I was so freaking hyped. I am definitely playing the COD World War II campaign, and I always play the campaigns for Call of Duty. Every Call of Duty I played, you know, even if it's Infinite Warfare, which I don't even like Infinite Warfare. The campaign for Infinite Warfare was actually really dope. Like, you guys can't lie about that. The Infinite Warfare campaign was actually pretty dope. Every Call of Duty campaign, like I've always said, guys, they've always been good to me. I've never been disappointed off one campaign from Call of Duty. The Call of Duty World War II campaign trailer came out today, and it looked freaking good. I can't wait. Like, just when you guys think when COD World War II gets dry, they gotta kinda hype it up. And it's smart, man. They're hyping it up. It comes out in less than two months. And it's absolutely insane because I remember when this game first got announced in May, I was like, oh my God, this game is going to take forever to come out. Like we're going to have to wait all these months. We're going to have to wait till E3 to see some multiplayer. Then E3 came. I was like, damn, that came by pretty quick. And then I was like, damn, we got to wait for the beta to come out. Then the beta came out. I was grinding the hell out of the beta guys. And now the game officially is going to come out in less than two months. And that's insane. I honestly cannot wait. But you know, as I saw the campaign trailer today, I was actually really surprised. And I think they said this in one of their interviews. They were going to do it only some parts of the parts of the campaign. They actually ended up showing, it was the beginning scene. They actually ended up showing the swastikas. I That caught me by complete surprise. And you know, for all those people that said, you know, COD World War II is not going to be historically accurate anymore because there's no swastikas. I mean, first of all, to me... It didn't matter if swastikas were in the game or for or if they weren't. Personally, I would have preferred them not to be in the game in general because because you know it's 
first of all, it's 2017. YouTube 2017, they censor a whole bunch of stuff. So you really can't have that kind of stuff on YouTube to begin with. So the swastikas, I could deal with them without them being in a video game. But I understand that people want a, as much as a historical accurate game as much as possible. And they did have the swastikas in the beginning. And like I said, guys, it doesn't bother me if or if they're not in the game. I preferably would rather have them not in the game. So for all you guys saying there wasn't the swastika in COD World War II, well, there you guys go. The swastika is now officially in the game. They showed it right in the beginning scene. But if you guys didn't see the trailer, you guys should definitely go check it out. I'll link it in the description. It was a really freaking cool trailer. Like the beginning, like where the soldier is just laid out in the snow, which... The snow looked freaking realistic as hell. Like, usually video games, they put snow, and it doesn't look that real. It just looks like they colored in white. Like, this legit actually looked like there was snow on the floor. Like, it was insane how they, make the gra how they made the graphics look for COD World War II. I can't wait to play the game, man. You know, it's getting me more hyped. It comes out in less than two months. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so sick and tired of playing the same Call of Duty. I'm so sick and tired of playing Black Ops 3. You guys have no idea. I need a new Call of Duty pronto. Black Ops 3, I am so freaking burnt out on the game. Thank God Destiny 2 came out because that game has that game is at least occupying me until COD World War 2 comes out. And, you know, I'm so freaking happy that Destiny 2 is actually out right now because I don't know what I'd be doing. I think I'd lose my mind right now. I, I Honestly, guys, I think I'd have lost my mind by now. I'm just so excited, man. I think this year for Call of Duty, I think this year, I think it's going to be a good year for Call of Duty. I really hope it's a good year for Call of Duty. You know, I don't want to play the game for a few months and then just get burnt out or everybody loses their interest because this game, I feel like this is the game that's going to really bring back Call of Duty right now because... COD has been in such a weird situation for the past 3-4 years. And now that we're finally getting boots on the ground, World War II, I'm so happy, man. I just, I'm just excited, man. I'm just really happy that Call of Duty this year is going to be doing very well. So far, by the looks of it, it does look like COD is going to, it does look like COD is going to do very well this year. That, may, that puts a smile on my face because, you know, we can have the community on one game this year not like how it was for when infinite warfare came out where people were playing black ops 3 then people were playing modern warfare remastered then people were playing infinite warfare there there's three different sides that split the community and hopefully this year since there's only one game it brings the community back i'm just so excited guys i really am excited but that's gonna do it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like on it rate the video subscribe if you guys are new Share the video, really just help the channel grow. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to turn on post notifications, guys, to let, let you guys know when I upload. I would really appreciate that a lot. YouTube is in such a weird spot right now where I feel like I'm not even getting, I feel like my videos aren't even getting notified to you guys anymore. So if you guys please would take, take some time to turn on post notifications, I would really, really appreciate that a lot. Notification gang, you guys know who you are. You guys are freaking legends. I can't thank you guys more than enough. The support has been crazy, guys. It's been good. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. It's been really good so far. So, yeah, guys. Destiny 2 has really been taking up some of my time. COD World War 2 comes out in, two, in less than two months, which is actually crazy. And then the COD World War 2 campaign trailer came out today. Like I said, I'll link it in the description. Go check it out. It was a really good campaign trailer. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will talk to you guys all later. Peace out, guys.